guys, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is a double feature because I have two topics for you. I have a Stitch Fix unboxing and try on that'll be a lot of fun. And I wanna show you how I took my hair from looking like this to this. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then just keep watching. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's talk about this hair. I'm happy with my decision to have a more modern, manageable haircut. I truly am but sometimes I miss my long hair. And that's why when the company Irresistible Me reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to review their hair extensions, I was ecstatic. As we age, our hair tends to lose bounce and fullness and natural shine. I mention this because even if your hair is the length that I have now, or maybe even shorter, these clip-in hair extensions can be custom cut by your hairdresser to fill in areas that maybe aren't as thick and as full and luxurious as they were when you were younger. Or maybe your hair has always been thin. I have never had a problem with thin hair, but I have had a problem that no matter how much I trim my hair, my ends just always looked ratty. I think that most people associate hair extensions with having dramatically long hair. And that's what I went for because I wanted kind of a fun before and after transformation. And sometimes I really miss my long hair. You can take clip-in hair extensions right to your hairdresser, have them show you where to clip them. They can cut it into whatever style you have. Maybe it's a bob, maybe it's shorter, maybe it's longer. Maybe you have a spot that's just a little thin right at the crown and you'd like to get some volume. Maybe you have long hair and when you pull it off forward it looks great, but then you turn around and there's nothing there, right? And maybe you just need a section in the back of your head. Clip-in hair extensions are not just for celebrities and news anchors anymore. They are accessible. They are affordable. These particular ones come in 14 different colors. And when you're watching the footage when I have these in, the match is remarkable. I do want to show you how the hair extensions came packaged. They came in this box, and it's a black box that says Irresistible Me. And I am going to bring this in closer to show you. This is what the inside of the box looks like, and this is actually on the lid. You'll see that the website is listed there underneath the brand name Irresistible Me. I will list the website down below. I do also have a discount code for you so that if you're considering hair extensions, you can save some money. I love the graphic of this beautiful young lady. It almost looks like a pen and ink drawing to me. And this long, voluminous, wavy hairstyle I used as the inspiration for how I styled the extensions that were sent to me. In the bottom of the box are the hair extensions and a sample extension, and I'll show you that in just a second. These are very well packaged, and I noticed that they come in pouches that have a zipper closure, so you can actually store your extensions in these, and I'm going to take these out to show you. This is the graphics and the note from Irresistible Me on the bottom of the box. This is what the package looks like on the inside, and it does have a zipper top so that you can store your extensions. This is the full set, and then here on this side, there is a sample strand so that you can test the hair color before you open the rest. I was really nervous about the color selection. I watched the videos on the Irresistible Me website and I also watched some other YouTube videos, but I still wasn't sure. And I do wanna say that the customer service at Irresistible Me was outstanding. I spoke to a lovely lady named Anna who walked me through step-by-step -step what final selection for color I should make, what thickness, what weight, and what length. And I'm very happy with the ones that I received. So thank you, Anna, for all of your help. I wanna pull these pieces out and show these to you close up. So I'll start with the sample piece. This is the sample strand that Irresistible Me sent to do a color match. And I'll show you this right next to my hair in just a second. Even though this was just the sample piece, it's such a generous sample piece that I used this as an accent piece in the hairstyle that I did. I want to mention something else while I have this up close. One of my biggest fears about trying hair extensions was that the hair extension would be overly shiny. We all love to have shiny hair, but my hair is not shiny naturally. And I was afraid that when it arrived, it would be that artificial Barbie doll hair and that it wouldn't blend in with my own hair. You can see by this sample that it has just the right amount of sheen where it looks like actual hair. I want to come in really close to show you that, for example, pardon my big wrinkly forehead, 
this is my natural hair right here. This is part of the bob that I just got. You can see that this is definitely connected to my head. Right below this are the extensions. And look at that color match. It is remarkable to me. I want to show you the reverse side because these clips are on all of the pieces and these literally just snap in like barrettes and let me show you. So there it is unsnapped and that's where you would just put this piece right on the part and then you would snap it into place and it works just like a standard barrette. This is the full set of hair extensions. It did come in a protective netting to keep it from getting tangled and I want to show you each of the components that came in this particular set. This is the packing slip that came in the extensions and I wanted to show you this so that you see exactly the pieces that I'm showing you. This is from the Royal line and it says 4, 16, 200. This is the largest piece that came in the particular set that I received from the Royal line and I'm going to turn this around. This one has a total of four clips. I placed this piece a couple of inches below my natural crown in the back of my hair. If you have naturally thin hair and you want to amp up the volume, this piece would be perfect for that purpose. I went with a very long dramatic extension. There are many lengths. There are 14 colors to choose from. And even if you have shorter hair, you can still use these extensions and have your hairdresser custom cut these into the shape that you have. You also do get two, I want to call these accent pieces. I used these closest to my hairline in the front of my hair to make the blend very gradual and look very natural. I received two of these pieces and these worked really well for the base layer at the bottom for the sides of my hair to make it blend and take its shape. I also received five of these pieces and as they tapered and got up closer to my part, this really helped me to blend these in seamlessly. I do also want to mention that when I had all of these in my head, it was very lightweight and comfortable. I have on occasion toyed with wigs and wigs give me a raging headache. I could barely feel these in my hair even with the entire set in my hair. In the package Irresistible Me also sent some additional clips so that over time and with regular use if one were to come loose you can see where you could very easily just take a needle and thread and sew this right into the weft and fix it. I feel like a mermaid right now. What's so amazing to me about these particular extensions is that they are 100% human hair and they're what's called virgin hair. It means that the hair hasn't been processed. It hasn't been permed or dyed. That's my understanding of it. Because it's human hair, just like my own hair, you can style it the same way. You can wash it with shampoo and conditioner, comb it out, you can blow dry it, you can sleep in it, and you can use heat styling, which is what I did. I, now, I'm not going to lie. When I put my curl on iron up to these extensions, I half expected to hear a sizzle and see some smoke and just watch it evaporate in front of me. I know that it's real human hair. I know it's just like the hair that's attached to my head, but it's psychologically, I was having a little bit of difficulty believing that it was true and I've seen it firsthand. It took me roughly 15 minutes to part and section my hair. I hope that I'm running clips off to the side. What I tried to do is to show you the steps that I took to get my hair into position like this. Now, full disclosure, I am not particularly skilled at hair styling, so I decided to go with a wavy look because my natural hair is very textured, and I can never get the pin straight sleek look. But if you have that type of hair, you can definitely wear these extensions straight. I kind of wanted to go for this mermaid wave myself. I have to tell you, I'm really hard pressed to tell when I'm looking in the viewfinder where my real hair is and where the extensions are. For example, this is my real hair right, right here. And then right below it are extensions that are obviously not my hair. And look how close these colors match. So I'll do this even closer. I hate filming in this angle, but I have to show you this really close up. This is my real hair right here, right? This is an extension. Look at the color match. It is amazing. So fun fact, 
I didn't tell my husband about these hair extensions because I knew that I wanted to put them in and then when he gets home just walk up to him very casually and see if he notices. Do you think he'll notice? <laughs> Even though I had hair this exact length when I was younger, I do want to distinguish the fact that my real hair was not this healthy at the ends. There are obviously no split ends or fuzziness to these extensions, right? So this is a better version of how my hair looked when I was in my teens, 20s, 30s, and 40s. In case you're wondering about the top I have on, I have been living in this slouchy, cozy, comfy top that I got from Thread Tank ever since I got it. And if you haven't watched that video, I will try to remember to link that in the cards above. One of my very good YouTuber friends, her name is Vicki Week, and Vicki, if you're watching this video, hi Vicki, she got this same top in black, and I love it in black. Hers says Mama Llama on it, and she actually tells the story of why she chose that shirt. I am going to link her video down below because I think it'll be interesting for you to see this top in a completely different color. It looked adorable on her. The first piece that I have to share with you is this top by the brand Fortune and & Ivy, and this top is $42. Full disclosure, I put all of my 100% polyester pieces in the dryer, even though that's not what the care label says, and I haven't had any fall apart on me yet. So several things that I like about this top. I like that this is an animal print, but it's not the expected color combination. I love jewel tones, and this is no exception. I really like this deep teal. It's a very rich color, and it does have the animal print. It has tab sleeves that look like they roll down, but they wouldn't be a full length sleeve. I guess it would be a three quarter length sleeve. So really, I would just keep the tabs up. This is a size small. It does have two pockets and is a classic button down. This top reminds me very much of something that I would have worn back in the day when I worked in an office environment. I would have easily worn this with black dress pants and black heels and made a nice outfit out of it. In my very casual profession that I have now, I would have very little use for something that's quite this dressy. Although I suppose it would be nice for going out to dinner or going to a special event. Something else that I noticed as soon as I took it out of the box, it's pretty sheer. Sheer to the point where it might require a camisole underneath. Because I have hot flashes, because this is 100% polyester, because this looks like something that you would wear in an office environment, they also know for a fact that I could get something very similar to this at a Ross or a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx for probably $12.99 or $15.99. This is really going to have to impress me when I try this on, but let's see how it looks on. And this next top is a wild card. I am either going to love this on or hate this on. I've mentioned before that I like certain cold shoulder tops, and I also lately have really been liking asymmetrical cuts. I'm looking at this in the viewfinder and realizing that I have an asymmetrical bob, so why not wear an asymmetrical top, right? I like this burnt orange color. The fabric has a nice feel to it. It almost feels cushiony. It is a Model spandex blend. It looks like it has a good amount of stretch, and it also has a thickness where maybe it won't be too clingy looking. I can't tell. This, this top is $48. Typically, I would not spend $48 full retail on a top. This is a real wild card, so be sure and leave a comment down below what you think about this top. So let's see how this looks on. I was hoping I wouldn't have to bring out my Debbie Downer side, but there are a number of things about this next top that concern me. This is by the brand West Key. It is 100% polyester, and it is cut pretty short and has an elastic band at the waist. I am envisioning this popping right up over my muffin top. We'll see. I am only 5'4", so maybe that won't happen. But historically, I have not done well with tops that have an elastic band right at the waist. I don't find them to be comfortable. This is the kind of polyester that has kind of a scratchy feel to it. It also has a pretty low V-neck. And just in case all of that isn't enough, it's pretty see-through. If this top has to have something under it to be worn, it's going to be a non-starter. I can't do double and triple layers with hot flashes, but I don't want to prejudge. Let's see how it looks on. It is a very pretty navy color. I love the color navy blue. It has a leaf pattern that is a lighter blue, a khaki color, and a cream. I'm actually going to bring this in close to show you the print. This is the print, and you can see the leaf pattern. 
This next top is by Mason and Bell, and my very first reaction is that it is baby blanket soft. There are a number of things that I feel like this top has going for it. I love the fabric. It is comfortable. It is casual. I wear gray a lot. I like the way it has the crochet detail here at the bottom and the little slits. I think that that'll look good on. This top is $38, and although typically I wouldn't spend $38 for this in a retail store, I would use my credit toward it if this fits properly and if you guys like it. It is a blend. It is rayon, polyester, and spandex. It says machine wash and line dry. And honestly, I don't line dry anything. I put everything in the dryer and take my chances. I have other tops that are made similar to this in different colors and they've done fine in the dryer. I do want to bring this in close to show you some detail and this is a size small. So this is a raglan sleeve and it has stripes on the sleeve and then floral on the body. And then at the bottom is this crochet detail. And I like all these details about it. So although I like the way this feels in my hand, the real test is going to be to see how it looks on. I suspect that these sleeves would drag through everything. But if I totally love this top, I would just be extra careful at the holiday parties and keep my sleeves out of the onion dip, which is where I usually station myself at a party. But I digress. I knew as soon as I saw this label it would be expensive, but I still did a double take because this top is $78. $78. That sounds crazy to me. Now, would I ever pay $78 for a polyester spandex blend top? No, I would not. If I love this only because I have credit on my account because of you lovely ladies using my referral code, I would keep it under that circumstance because I would not be paying $78. I will say this is very well made and I'm very intrigued. I cannot wait to see this on. And while we're on the topic, even though I have credit on my account and even though I'm not paying full price for these items, I still want to hear from you which pieces should I keep and which pieces should I pass on. You have no idea how helpful it is to get your feedback on these pieces. I want to show you my invoice while I'm thinking of it for a couple of reasons. I will list all of these pieces down in the description box because I think that's probably easier for you. You all know that there's a buy five discount and you get 25% off if you keep all five pieces. It is extremely rare that I would ever keep all five pieces in a stitch fix box. Mainly what I want to draw your attention to is right where my finger is. I have a credit on this account and that is because of you lovely ladies that have used my referral link and you are the reason that I can continue to do videos like this. I cannot thank you enough. So if I'm agonizing over whether I should keep a bracelet or a top and I'm telling you what the stitch fix price is, bear in mind, full disclosure, that I can deduct this credit off of any pieces that I keep and I can only afford to do these videos because you use my referral link. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm back from trying everything on and I decided to take you out on my deck. Right now the leaves are turning as they do in the Northeast and it's beautiful, but in a couple of weeks it is going to look like a barren wasteland out there, so I wanted to show it to you while I could. I wanted to show you the jeans and the shoes that I had on for all of the try-ons. I chose a pair of neutral suede-like booties. These are from the brand Arizona. They have an almond toe, a little bit of a perforated detail. Two of the tops on the style cards were styled with distressed denim, so I did pull these from my closet. These do happen to be from Stitch Fix, and these are by the brand Judy Blue. The jeans that aren't distressed in these try-ons are from the brand Universal Thread. This is my favorite pair of jeans at the moment. I did a video called Walmart versus Target, and I'll try to remember to link that in the the cards above. I did keep these jeans from that haul. On the styling cards, a couple of the looks called for a green, army green cargo jacket. So I happen to have this one. This is by the brand Marilyn and Me, and I want to say that I bought this at Boscov's off of a clearance rack. When I initially showed you this top by Gold Gray, it is $48. I knew that I would love it or hate it. I like the style in theory, but this was entirely too clingy. I didn't realize until I went to put it on that it does have two layers, and I thought that that might smooth things out. 
I did not feel that it did, so I'm definitely passing on this one. This is the Fortune and Ivy Top, and this is $42. I had my doubts about it as soon as I saw it because it struck me as being more office appropriate, and I tend to dress very casually. You'll notice in the try-on that the buttons gaped right here, and that's just a non-starter for me. I do love the color of this top. I just don't care for the fabric or the style. I always appreciate when animal print shows up on an unexpected color, but unfortunately this one didn't work for me. This is the West Key top for $42. I like so much about it, but I thought there might be issues. I love navy blue. I think the print is pretty. It was actually more comfortable than I expected, and the V-neck was not too low. I don't even mind the elastic on the sleeves, but as you probably saw on the try-on, when I raised my arm, I could see my pasty white muffin top showing by about that much. I don't want to have to wear something underneath of this, so unfortunately this one is a no also. Now we're down to the two that I am considering, and remember, I have credit on my account, so I'm not paying full retail for these. I love this top by Mason & Bell. It is baby blanket soft. It draped very nicely. I have a pair of tall, dark gray boots that would match this perfectly. I love the little crochet detail. I need your honest opinion in the comments down below what you think of this one. The other top that I'm considering, and here goes my champagne taste on a beer budget, is this CC top for $78. In my lifetime, I would not pay $78 for this top, but I love it. It has a beautiful drape. It is well made, and I have credit that I could get it if I wanted it. I need your honest opinion what you think of this top. So I'm going to ask for your help. Comment down below, should I keep either or both of these two tops? Be sure and take a moment and comment. I read every single comment. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend with me. I truly appreciate it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell. That way you'll see my future videos. Until next time, bye guys.